Today's new guitar day, and um, to celebrate it, not that I do unboxing videos much at all, but I thought to myself, let's do a super casual one for Instagram because I don't have to put much production value into it. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So let's take a box into the frame without revealing vital information. Okay. I can't believe I have one of these, to be honest. But let's start cutting the tapes without cutting myself. Yeah, it's a strand battery, as you can see very clearly. The thing with Strandberry is that I have been aware of the brand ever since uh, Ola England did his first demo videos back in uh, was it 2011 or something. Uh, I've seen these guitars in the hands of uh, well, Misha, uh, Tosin, Aaron Nielsen, to name a few. I've always been intrigued by these but um, I never thought it would be my cup of tea, you know, and um, well, back in 10 years ago or something, I was a poor student and I couldn't really afford one of these either, so... Well, well now I'm a less poor working man and uh, I came to the conclusion that I could probably afford one of these, so... And that's where I'm at right now. It's a, it's a mighty fine looking soft shell case or geek bag. And uh, it's equipped with a Swedish flag, which I, 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 love, I love that detail as well. Um, I've been on the lookout for uh, my ultimate 8 string for a while since I've been uh, actually moving a bit more into the 8 string territory from the 7 string with uh, well, new band songs and stuff uh, kind of getting inspiration to write 8 string stuff and um, As much as I love my RGA8 Ibanez, um, I was still looking for the guitar. So I had a bunch of ideas about um, a possible custom 8-string, uh, but it never materialized, so um, I kind of kept it on hold. Um, and in December, I think, there's one special thing happened that I, uh, I stumbled on a band that I really liked. Who were actually using strand batteries and um, well, Lundgren pickups as well, especially a guitarist. And um, that was the day when I decided I really want one of these. And uh, holy crap, is it small? Is this really an eight string? Is this. Uh... Well, obviously, it's an eight string. Uh, but uh, it, it weighs nothing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I I found this band, which uh, made me super interested in Strandberg again. And I started conversing with uh, with a friend of mine, or I guess pal from Instagram, Cairo. Um, we went back and forth about uh, these guitars, and uh, he kind of pushed me to the right direction. And uh, eventually, I broke. I broke down and I did the purchase, and uh, here we are today. Oh boy, still, still cold. And the very, very uh, convenient thing about this particular one is that uh, Cairo actually hit me up and linked me this. Uh, it's a refurb eight string that just came up. I think like uh, last week or something and um, I snagged it on Friday and it's Wednesday now and it's here. What's also convenient is that I'm actually on a like a winter holiday for this week so I could actually receive this and uh, play it at home so what, what can I even say? No sharp fret ends, it's insanely light and uh, oh it's actually a the thing with uh, these ones is that the uh, the fretboard and neck is uh, roasted maple, and mine seems to be a bit bit of a darker shade of roasted maple. It's in tune. Well, 
What I really like about this uh, compound scale as well is it's my first compound scale as well. Is that um, the fan isn't very extreme, and uh, because the the straight fret is like pretty low on the fretboard, you can pretty easily play uh, traditional bar chords and uh, cowboy chords with no no uh, awkwardness. So like right away when I pick it up, uh, I don't feel weird about the neck. Uh, I obviously need to play it more like uh, to realize how easy it makes to get uh, the guitar to play. But first impressions, it's it's really intuitive. Even if I um, hold my thumb like uh, uh, around the, the neck like this, it makes sense to be thick right here, and it makes sense to be thin right here. Amazing. What can I say? I need to plug it in and actually like um, spend some time with this. <laughs> but uh, holy hell. Uh, I don't see anything wrong about this either. Uh, it's a refurb, it was probably like a two week return or something. Uh, but uh, I don't see, I, I don't see a spot. I, I see nothing wrong. I don't know. Maybe the maybe the uh, other guy didn't like the, the roast or something, or maybe it wasn't his cup of tea. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna chill and uh, plug this in and uh, uh, see how it sounds. It's, it's certainly right off the bat. It sounds very nice uh, by itself. Is this even real? It's, it's gonna take a little while to <laughs> for this to sink in, to be honest. Do I actually have this guitar in my hands after all these years? What can I say? To finally have a Strandberry in my hands without actually knowing if it would be my thing or not. But like suddenly having the urge to get one because I saw one band that I really liked use these. I don't know. Life is strange. So first impressions, I, I really like the neck. It's, it doesn't feel weird at all. Uh, as weird as it sounds, uh, because I've never played one before. But it makes sense right away. And uh, I guess that's a sign of good design. A sign of good design indeed. Acoustically, it's really resonant. Bright. Lots to sustain. I still don't know about the pickups and uh, electronics side of things, but like uh, I can imagine the pickups being well tuned for this instrument. And uh, if I if I swap them, I'll just get my Lundgrens in there. But uh, I think I'll be pretty satisfied with these as well, right off the bat. Uh, I wasn't gonna know. If the roast of maple uh, was going to be like a darker shade or lighter shade, but well, this is the darkest one I've ever seen. It almost like, it looks like rosewood, but I, I really like it. I, I wouldn't have minded if it was uh, lighter. I'm not really picky about these kind of things. Not that I'm really picky about the color either. Like um, apart from this refurb one, I was looking at the black one, but uh, honestly this deal came about and uh, I wasn't gonna care about the color too much and uh, it's fun to have a blue guitar. I have plenty of black guitars and uh, sunburst ones and red ones. Doesn't have to ha <laughs> doesn't hurt to have a blue one uh, in the arsenal. So yeah, that concludes the unboxing first impressions type of uh, train wreck video. So. I'm gonna have fun with this because I feel like this is gonna be the main eight. Like, I have no doubts about it right now. Okay, Let's see you around. Can't get over how light this is. <laughs> crazy, crazy guitar. <laughs>